Good morning, Floss Tube. This is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, on May 22nd with my Stitch Mania update. I did 15 new starts for Stitch Mania. I did plan on doing 16, but one day I wasn't able to get a start in. So I did do uh, 15 new starts. So I'd like to show you my progress on those. And then I had also asked everybody for your help in helping me choose four new starts for the end of May to celebrate the end of my school year. So I've got what those choices are also, and just a tiny bit of haul. So let me go ahead and get started. Day one is Debbie Mum Fall Banner. I also use this for Cross Stitch It's Fun Owls. They're Owl Stitch Along. And here is my progress. Day two was jeweled pear and Mill Hill kit. Day three, this one gave me a little bit of trouble because the fabric I planned to use ended up not working. I needed to go with a darker fabric. I can't show you the picture of this. This is my Ying Yang Cats. I was doing it on off-white and that didn't work so I had to change it to a kind of grayish blue. And it's two cats, a black cat and a white cat and they're, they're sitting sideways across each other. Day four is my Bent Creek White Cat. And I did change the colors on this. I wanted the flowers to be brighter, so I changed and used most sales floss for them. So there's my start on those flowers. Day five is the day that I didn't do one. I ended up uh, getting sick and running fever through uh, most of that day and even through the weekend. So I did not do a start on day five. So that brought me to day six, which is afternoon in London by Country Cottage Needleworks. And there's my little start on that. Day seven was my Joan Elliott Fire Goddess that I was really excited about starting. A Mohs sale hand dyed fabric that I absolutely love. And there is a little bit of a start on that. Okay. Day eight was Night Eyes. That's a wolf. And I am doing this on the black. So you'll be able to see that. And then day nine was another Mill Hill kit. This is uh, such a layer on that peaches and pretty good start on that. And then day 10, another one where I can't show you the pattern. This is the Cheshire Cat. And there was my progress on that. And 
and a 11, another one of the Debbie Mum kits. This was the spring banner. And I a little bit of the, of the bird done. Day 12 is another Mill Hill kit. This one is Jim Shore's Evergreen Snowman. And there's, so I see that too well. Uh, day 13, which is Friday the 13th, so I changed the start I was going to do and I decided I wanted to do something Halloween-y, so I decided to do this was my backup one anyway, and I did go ahead and pull it out. Of course, I did not like where it was starting. My center ended up being the spider, not my favorite, but it turned out really cute. It turned out really good. It was really fast stitch. And I really like this fabric. This was a 28 count sand. And it's really soft fabric. So I really enjoyed the fabric. I don't know if you can see, but it comes with little charms. So. And that brings me to day 14. Which was this Design Works Coffee Break. I had a pretty good start on this. I really enjoyed this one, plus it was the weekend. So there was a start on that. And then day 15 was my summer stroll dimensions gold kit. I'm doing this on the call for fabric, which I believe is, let's see, 18 count ivory. And there's my start on that, a little bit of the dress and then a little bit of the flowers. And then my last start is day 16, but my 15th start. And that was my my May Cottage. And this one I've actually continued to work on all week. So I have a lot of progress on this one because this ended up just being my project for the week. So a whole lot done on that. I'm planning on finishing this this week. So at least this will be one of my finishes for the month of May. Awesome. I really did enjoy Stitch Mania. It's a little overwhelming. I a little stressed out with a new start every day after work but uh, I enjoyed every start that I did I'm really excited to get back to them and that comes with another whole set of problems because I like them all and trying to decide which one to work on next is going to be a challenge uh, what I kind of plan on doing I'm not going to do an actual rotation but what I plan to do is some of the smaller starts that I did like the Mill Hill kits and the little cat projects I'm going to try to finish those and try to get some of those knocked out because I have 42 whips now. That's a, a lot for me, so I do plan to try to get as many of those done. And of course, like I said, school will be out, so during the summer I will have a lot more stitching time, and hopefully I'll be able to get some of the small and medium ones done during that time. So next I wanted to show you which of the four projects I decided to do for my end of the year. Uh, the first one is going to be the Lavender and Lace Nantucket Rose. And I'm going to do, right over here, I'm going to do this on this Monaco 28 count glass blue even weave. Uh, it's kind of more blue than the, the gray that's called for. So if the uh, water doesn't show up really well, I'm just going to use kind of a darker color blue for this because I already had this in my stash and I didn't really want to spend money on more fabric I'm trying to use up my stash and then the next one was a lot of people chose this one so I'm going to do the Heaven and Earth Mini Crossing Spirits this only has uh, 16 colors in it so it won't be as much confetti 
and I bought a 25 count antique white even weave. Just a plain even weave for that. And next I'm going to do the Marabilia Garden Verses. I've ordered some fabric from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie, but of course it takes a few weeks to get here, so this one probably won't actually get started in May, but as soon as I get the fabric, I'm going to start that one. And then I'm going to do my tapestry cat in honor of my cat Coco. And I'm going to do this just on uh, this Eat Monaco Antique White 28 count even weave. So looking forward to the end of the school year and being able to start those projects. So that'll give me what, 46 by the end of May. So I'll have a lot to work on. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you was just a little bit of haul. I didn't really buy a whole lot in the May because I was busy doing all those projects. Uh, I did get my cross stitch and needlework magazine in the mail. And like uh, Kate the Queen of Starks had said, I didn't find a whole lot that I liked in here either this time. The only one I really liked was the same one she did, and that was this garden sampler. So not a whole lot in that one. Uh, next, I bought this off a of Stash Unload. Very excited. My first Chatelaine. It's the Mini Mandela Gardens. So I decided I wanted to start small. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure when I'll start these, but I am excited to have gotten this. And even more excited was this that I bought off of eBay. I got this for a steal. They had it as an auction with an optional buy it now and the buy it now was really reasonable so I went ahead and did that. This is the Regal Tiger Gold Collection. It's an older pattern. It does have the fabric where I mean the thread's gonna have to be sorted. So I'm not sure when I'll start this one either, but very happy to have this one in my stash. And then I went to Barnes and Nobles and bought a few magazines. Um, got this one for Belle and Boo. She's just so cute. And then there's a pastry pattern that I also I love pastry Paris stuff. So, oh, I bought, and that's this one here. I really like. And then I also got this one. This is Cross Stitcher from April 2016. This had several patterns in it, I wonder. Of course, the pastry on the front. Absolutely love that. I may actually start that this summer because it's just so bright and colorful. And then there was there's several in here that I really like. Um, hopefully we should have marked them for you. <laughs> Oh, these little, little bunnies are so cute. magazines off of eBay. Uh, I got this one, Cross Stitch Collection, January 2005. I got this for this wizard and also for the, the flowers. This is the pretty pink. I like that. Let me show you the, the bigger picture of it. So there's the, the flowers. I just thought so beautiful. And then the, the wizard is it's pretty awesome too. I just look at that. I just love that. And then I got Cross Stitch Collection October of 2009. And of course I got that for this. I just absolutely love that. Blimey Cat is doing one similar with just one 
one of the cats. So there's the whole family. So cute. And the last one is a cross stitch collection from May 2005. Of course, it's got the cottage that I absolutely love. And the little the flower vase is, is cute too. And then there's a swan. Let me show you that bigger, bigger picture of the of this swan. There's the flowers. It's kind of pastel flowers. There's the swan. So pretty. And there's the farm. It's like a really interesting, it's like a pullout pattern. I won't show you the actual pattern, but it's like a pullout. I haven't seen those before. So that's what I've been up to for May. Uh, trying to like said, work on going back to work on all the smaller ones to see if I can get some of those finished. I think the little Bent Creek White Cat. That one I'd like to finish up. Of course, my May Cottage. Finish that one up and maybe the uh, Cheshire Cat. I think I could maybe finish those. Of course, this week is the last week of school and it is very, very busy, so I'm not really sure how much stitching that I will get in, but hopefully I'll get, get some free time to stitch. Um, I'll do another video next weekend to show you my June plans. I'm going to participate in Stitch Mania's Wine and Whips. So I've already got one I know that I'll be working on as part of Wine and Whips. Still have to decide uh, three more I was going to do, like one a week. So I'll tell you about that in a short video next weekend and then show you also the progress I made for this week. And I'll make this week in May. So I hope everybody has a great stitchy day and a great week. And I'll see you soon.